Hey, this is Lance with Brando Consulting. Thanks for joining us today. In this video, we're going to cover the creation of location groups and what location groups mean. So to create a location group in Fishbowl, we go to Setup, Location Group, go to the top left-hand corner, click New, and type in the name of the location group. What should we call it? Usually, uh, a good a good uh, idea is to call it the, the state code. We're going to make a location group for Texas. Now, if you have more than one warehouse in the same state, then you may want to name your location group the city. A location group is a warehouse with an address. It's a warehouse with an address. It's not, it's not necessarily, it can be, but you shouldn't generally make a location group, um, a group of locations in your warehouse. You shouldn't generally have multiple location groups in your warehouse. It's, it's not a hierarchy design. That's not really how it works in Fishbowl. A location group is a building with an address, and it's even connected to user rights, so only those in that building can access orders related to that building. So think about that when you're setting up location groups. Let's give myself access to this location group and let's give Chris access to this location group. Let's say uh, I oversee uh, Texas and so I want to see what's going on in Texas but let's pretend like Chris actually works there and he's the warehouse manager there. So we set up a location group, we click Save, plain and simple. Um, the next thing we want to do is set up an address for that location group. That's done in a separate screen. We go to Setup Company, click uh, on the Address tab. Usually it'll default to this tab, so click on the Address tab and click on New Address. Make the address a ship type address, unless you want to receive bills there. Change the address name to, let's say, Texas, if we only have one warehouse in Texas. You could also make it the city name if you want. Uh, call it Houston, for instance. This field is not required, so I'll just delete that. We'll enter the street address and the city. The state is there already, and we'll put in the zip code. And then finally, we connect the address to the warehouse that we just created, or as Fishbowl calls it, location group. Check the default box. This means it's the default address for this location group. Okay. We'll click OK. Click Save. Now we have an address, it shows up here, assigned to Texas, and any sales orders uh, that are returned, it will show a return to Texas. Any purchase orders that are received and created, um, or created and received, will go to uh, Houston, right? So if we create a purchase order, I will go to purchasing here, click New, and now Texas will show up here if we select Texas. Now that ship to address changes to Texas. So you see how interconnected a location group is and what it means. It's, it's really a building with an address. That's the design behind it. And if Dave logs in or Cicely logs in or Jen logs in, they won't see any purchase orders, any sales orders, any pick tickets for Texas. They won't see any inventory quantity levels in Texas because they don't have rights to Texas. Okay? All right, so thanks for joining us today on the simple steps of creating a location group properly in Fishbowl. 